coordinating conjunctions join words and phrases and clauses together. In this video, I'll show you the coordinating conjunctions and, but, or, so, yet, nor, and for. There are seven coordinating conjunctions. And, but, or, so, yet, nor, and for. Use and when adding things together. Use but for differences. And or is used when there's a choice. Use so when there is a result. Yet is similar to but still. This is like nevertheless. Nor is the negative form of or. So there's no choice or not much of a choice. And for is similar to because when it's used as a conjunction. I have eggs and toast for breakfast. Here's the subject. Here's the verb. And here's the object, eggs and toast. So both of these together form the object in the sentence. Here, eggs and toast are the subject. And the verb matches the subject. It's plural. Eggs and toast are easy to make. And is commonly used to join two clauses together to form a compound sentence. In the first clause, here's a subject, a verb, and an object. Then there's a comma here, and then the conjunction, and subject, verb, and object. I like eggs and toast. Now we have a simple sentence with a subject, a verb, and then here is the object. It's plural, joined by the conjunction and. Use the conjunction but to show differences or contrast. I like toast for breakfast, but I don't like eggs. Here the conjunction separates two clauses and it shows a difference. Notice there's a comma right here. You could take this off and instead say, I like toast for breakfast, but not eggs. And the meaning is the same. Now it's just one simple sentence. Here's the subject, and here's the verb, here's an object, here's a prepositional phrase, here's the conjunction, and then this is another object that goes back to that verb. Use or for some kind of a choice. I usually have eggs or toast for breakfast. So it's this or this, but not both. If it's both, then use and. If it's only one, then use or. You can also use the word either. This helps support the conjunction or. I either have eggs or toast for breakfast. I usually have eggs and toast for breakfast. Or I have cereal. Here's a compound sentence. The conjunction goes between the two clauses. 
here's the first one, and here's the second one. In each case, there's a subject, and then there's the verb. Or joins both of those parts of the sentence together. Use nor when there's no choice. I like neither eggs nor toast. Nor joins together this object and this object. So I don't like eggs and I don't like toast. I like neither eggs nor toast. In this compound sentence, nor joins two clauses. I don't want eggs, comma, nor do I want toast. You have to use this helping verb here because this is negative and we can't make this negative also. You can only have one negative. Nor is not an easy conjunction to use. Use so for some kind of a result. I was hungry, and then here's a comma, then the conjunction so, and here's the result. I made breakfast. I was hungry, so I made breakfast. I was so hungry. In this sentence, so is not a conjunction. It's an adverb for the adjective hungry. And now it's a conjunction. I was hungry, so I ate. The conjunction yet is similar to but. Still, there's some sort of uh, underlying reason for something not to happen. It's similar to nevertheless. Breakfast is on the table, comma, yet no one is ready to eat. No one is ready to eat yet. In this sentence, yet is not a conjunction. It appears at the end of the sentence as an adverb, and it means up to now, up to this time. When for is used as a conjunction, it means because. This has a formal feeling to it. It's not easy to use. Eggs are good for breakfast. Here's the comma. For they are nutritious and filling. In this part of the sentence, for is a preposition. And in this part of the sentence, for is a conjunction.